Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find Buddy. I don't think he's come around really this morning too much because I still got a whole stack right there. But I also put stuff out this more, lots of food out this morning, not just there, but to all the places. Buddy! Buddy, I love you. I love you, buddy. I love you, bud bud. There were two squirrels over there. Here he comes. Oh, this is buddy. Okay, so I thought that was buddy. He was fighting with another squirrel this morning. Hey, bud bud. <laughs> He's doing acrobatics to get here. Oh, I got some good stuff for you. <laughs> what a scamp. I don't know how much I caught of his acrobatics, but that was kind of cool. I want to kind of stay in case he goes out into the road or the alley. Stay close. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. I don't want to get that close because if he, he used to do these things where he would dive at me after I gave him a treat. And though he wouldn't bite me because he'd have his... um mouth with it i just don't i just don't i want to keep my distance so i just ordered what i hope will be enough nuts for the next two weeks because i just spent like 200 more bucks on everything um well actually i well i think like 150 but um i well i hope to only spend maybe 50 more bucks this month for his food but i think i finally got it down I think I finally got it down to a cheaper thing, um, the rationing and, and, and the and the best coverage. I got about eight, uh, seven to nine places where I put it daily. I, I started to put a little bit there, not a lot. I do put a little bit over there by those stones, not a lot. Those are the, the smallest places. Um, over, I'll just walk and show. I put, I don't count this as three. Here, I'm gonna give that guy one. But I put, I put a spread. There's three different places here that I put it spread out. Um, I put um, some right there, hazelnuts. And I put throw some almonds over there too. And then I'm just gonna walk and show while I wait for the budster to show back up. And hopefully he'll show back up. He doesn't always show back up, but a lot of times he has the knack for showing right back up when I give up on the recording. And this is one of the major spots that I dump. This is one of the major ones. I dump a lot here. And then, um, this is a minor spot, but it's one of the higher minor spots. I dump a good bit right there. And this is, I dump a little bit less right there. Um, I might start dumping just a smidge more there, too. And then this is the last spot that I'm walking up to. Um... That I dump and then I actually put some food for the stray cat that I've seen around haven't seen the stray cat around um, oh wow something came here and ate it um, I don't know what ate it um, I don't think the squirrels would be eating it honestly because it's meat um, but maybe they do squirrels will eat meat it's just bad for them to eat too much of it um, and that was a lot of meat, and I just don't see a squirrel eating that much meat. But that was interesting because it's gone, and it was quite a bit because I, I've been doing Mitzo scraps. Whatever Mitzo doesn't eat, I put out there. Um, which he is a picky diva, so he doesn't eat a lot, and clearly somebody else is benefiting from that. So let's see if the Budster is back. Not yet. Rat fart. Um... Kudos to the person who can guess the movie that that's from. I will give you a hint. It's kind of like a sister movie to where <laughs> the uh, where the people say son of a bitch shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not from the same movie. But it's from the same people who, who basically made that movie. Both of those movies. So, who, whoever can guess where Rat Fart's from, I just, you know, I just like it. So, regrettably, <sighs> Bud Bud, I got more for you. I don't, I don't know. 
But it's also good that Buddy's mixing it up. And, you know, he's he's not always on the losing end. He was kind of on the losing end at first. And I think he's doing pretty good. I mean, this is Sunday. I think the 56th day? No, 57th day. Um, well... And I think my neighbors are getting ready to like either have somebody move in or sell the house. So uh, I'm, that's going to be a little bit of a bummer. I've mostly been neighborless since living here except for... And then the one people that did live there I didn't really like because they would open their car door and then just blast their music right into my house. And I was like, I, I can hear your bass. I said, I don't, I don't want to hear and feel your bass. I'm sorry, dudes. Anyway... I really liked the opening of this video. I didn't like the close of it, but I was I was kind of hoping that the Budster would show back up. And this is what I generally do. I generally chill on the weekends and try to get to see him. I'm happy that I got to see him. So, I'm sorry about the rambling. But I thought it was kind of cool just to show the areas that I feed. And like I said, just over here, I'd um, because again, since the, the guy who owns the place is showing up, I, I try not to um, put stuff that will like just stay on the ground. I just throw the nuts that <clears throat> I just throw. I just throw like uh, five, uh, five hazelnuts, uh, three to five hazelnuts, and like uh, a handful of almonds over there, and then I do a little bit less for over there. Oof, sorry. Wow, for over here. And so those are all the areas. All right, I'm going to end this video. You all take it easy. Take care.